Amazon is coming for James Bond. Honestly, at this point, if they keep coming for IPs from my childhood, I'm going to start having to think there's some kind of personal vendetta involved. But honestly, I can't believe it. No sooner had we got rid of Daniel Craig, who thought he was playing Jason Bourne for 15 years. Well, now we've got to put up with this. And while they go, oh, no, it's a James Bond car show. It's a James Bond car show. The more you dig into it, the more it looks like it was never intended to be. And they're just stamping the James Bond name onto it to try and desperately get some people to watch the show that they'd never be interested in otherwise. I don't know where we've seen that before, because this is a Variety exclusive, and they're just astonished at how fast things are moving for the James Bond franchise. The world of James Bond is hitting streaming world a lot sooner than you'd think, and this isn't unreasonable to be surprised about, considering they only just finished the acquisition on March 17th, and 10 days later they've announced a brand new show with his name. Adds a bit unusual, and if you're like, well, maybe they thought about it before, they did announce the acquisition on May 26th. 2021. So maybe they've been thinking about the show since then, or maybe it all massively predates anyone even considering purchasing MGM. And don't get me wrong, the idea itself sounds like it could actually be interesting. It's a TV show based around a race around the world, and it's done for £1 million. Go to various locations around the world and undergo tests of intelligence and endurance, and if you pass that stage, then you get to move on to the next challenge in the next location. It's very traditional TV fodder, but it can also work. I mean, that's basically a description of the Crystal Maze. It's just, this has got a way bigger budget and done around the world, so they can make it far more impressive. I could be interested in that. The question for me is, how is any of that Bond? because we've just had to put up with Daniel Craig not being Bond for 15 years. Bond is suave and sophisticated, taking out villains with the latest gadgets, and Daniel Craig was none of these things. So the last thing I want is another generic product just with James Bond stamped on it, and we're thinking we should all be grateful for just getting more brand. Because that's what it's looking like. This is a Bond-style spin. Because apart from being filmed in many historic locations and presumably having questions related to James Bond, nothing seems related to it at all. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> because as the article so proudly says, the show joins a slate of unscripted UK originals on Prime Video, including Clarkson's Farm and All or Nothing Tops from a Hotspur. Essentially, it's just being compared to other reality television. And there's a strange time-traveling problem here, because 72 Films Glover told Variety, I first had this idea three years ago. How? Because Amazon closed the acquisition of MGM 10 days ago. They announced that they're actually buying it on May the 26th. And if you want to go how far back MGM have been trying to sell themselves, well... Well, they put themselves up at the end of 2020 and 22nd of December, and they also put themselves up at the start of 2020 in January. None of these are three years ago. And all that completely ignores the fact that this was done by 72 films. 72 films came up with the idea. Are they going to come up with the idea for a specific IP? Are they going to make something around James Bond and then decide to pitch that to James Bond company directly? Or are they going to come up with a generic reality TV show and then shop it around to as many people as possible until they can eventually get a brand to put on it? What it looks like to me is Amazon bought MGM and they wanted to use the IPs. And they had a load of different pitches stuck around and they just decided to start linking them up. Oh, here's a car show. James Bond drives a car. That'll be fun. Oh, James Bond fights people, doesn't he? Yeah, that we can do feats of strength. And he's 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 pretty intelligent. He's a he's pretty intelligent kind of guy. So, you know, we've got those puzzles done. I mean, if we just stamp the brand everywhere and say it's in Milan in a big posh car, surely that'll be James Bond. They'll love that. And this is what they announced 10 days after finalizing the purchase of James Bond. This is their opening gambit. They're starting how they mean to go on. And is it with some kind of announcement that, no, we're going to make you a really great movie. We realized that actually we don't like the Jason Bourne stuff and it wasn't James Bond at all. We want to go back to its roots and we want to give you an actual James Bond movie or a real James Bond TV show that rigorously sticks to what the IP should be. The soul of it all. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do some generic TV show and start stamping it around and hope that the James Bond brand makes us some coin. But that's how much they care about the IP. It's just a logo to them that they can stick on various different things. And hopefully, hopefully someone will be stupid enough to buy it. And like I said, I think the show actually could be quite fun until you start ruining James Bond over it. To me, the Daniel Craig movies took the James Bond franchise and ripped it apart and left it as a bleeding mess on the floor. And Amazon, rather than coming along and trying to desperately treat it with care and revive it back into a IP that could make them billions into the future, instead, they've just decided to set the remains on fire for some reason. And this goes far beyond James Bond. This is all of MGM. This is their opening gambit of what they're going to do with everything that MGM owns. It's not looking good for the future, is it, folks?
and the lack of confidence that it must take to come up with an idea and think, yeah, well, I think that's a great idea, but no one's going to watch our competition. We need something else. We need to take some kind of thing that people care about and stick it on our generic idea just to try and desperately hope that we get some kind of reflected glory from the thing which is far superior to anything that we create. This isn't a sign of creativity. This isn't a sign of people who actually have good ideas. This isn't someone standing on the shoulders of giants. This is a load of people who have possessed a giant and have no idea how to control it. They don't know how it was made, they don't know how it was created, and so they're just desperately hitting buttons inside it and making him wave his arms around and for some reason don't understand why everything's going wrong. The longer it goes on, the more it seems to me that like they have the money to buy these big, shiny, impressive IPs that mean a lot to people, but they don't have the people in their company who have ever made anything like that themselves, and so they have no idea how to handle it. But they also have all of the ego that makes them think they can. It's the worst of every world. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if the people that had never made anything had the humility to realize that actually this is far bigger than us. We should keep it how it is. But instead what we have are a load of people who simultaneously think that their ideas are so much better than the actual IP they're taking from. While simultaneously realizing that their ideas are so awful no one would watch them on their own. It's yet again another case of people having two contradictory ideas in their own head and seeing absolutely no problem with that at all. And so I don't know whether I'll actually like this show because the actual show itself, if it's done in some kind of bigger Crystal Maze-esque fashion, I could actually enjoy. But what I do know is however it turns out, it's not going to be James Bond, because it couldn't be, because when it was first thought of, it never even had James Bond in mind. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, like the video if you liked the video, subscribe, more videos like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.